Hello everyone, this is Cloud5380 on my Zach account and today we are doing the Clock Tower quest. If you don't want to watch this guide with commentary, simply click the annotation being shown in the video. If not, then just carry on watching. Uh, the only items you will need for this quest is either a bucket or a jug of water and there are no requirements for this quest. To start this quest, speak to Brother Kojo who can be found in the Clock Tower south of East Ardone. Okay, so in a nutshell, we basically need to find four coloured cogs in order to get the clock tower working again. So if we go down the ladder and head to the central area, you'll see four different coloured squares, and these basically point in the general direction where the coloured cogs are. Although it's not going to be as easy as just simply walking and getting them, you will need to do different things and use your jug or bucket of water in order to obtain them. So first we'll get the black cog, so we need to head down this direction. Okay, so you will see the black cog, but it is covered in flames, so it will be too hot to pick up. So this is what you need your bucket or jug of water um, to cool it down with by using it on it, and then you should be able to pick up the cog. Now, it will only let you carry one cog at a time, so we need to head back to the base of where the clock tower is. Now you'll see there's these different coloured spindles sticking out of the central bit and basically you need to use your cog on the right coloured spindle so I believe it's this one here. Once you've done that head back into the central area. Okay so now we're going to head down this way to get the red cog. So as you can see as you get closer you will see the red cog and it's guarded by level 53 ogres Now you don't need to fight them so you're literally going to run grab the cog and run back. Once you have the cog, head back to the base of the clock tower. Now instead of being on the base, we need to head up one level and use the uh, red cog on the red spindle on the next floor up. Okay, so next we'll get the blue cog, however this one isn't obtained by going down the blue route as you would first think. Um, we need to find a ladder a bit further away and it's located just near the camel pen near the Ardone Zoo. Okay, so you will see a long winding passage, you basically just need to follow it all the way through until you reach a wall. Once you've reached the wall, push it and you should be able to go through and pick up the blue cog and then head back upstairs. Okay, we now need to head back to where the clock tower bit is and go up another floor and use the blue cog on the blue spindle. So, last but not least is the white cog, so firstly head back to the central area. Now I need to head down this route. On the way there you'll see an item on the floor as some rat poison, make sure you pick this up. Okay, as you get near to the cage you'll see there's a couple of levers on the wall. You need to pull both of these in order to get inside the rat pen. Once you're in there, use the rat poison you picked up on the um, feeder just nearby and this will cause the rats to panic and start chewing at the gate and then you'll be able to go through it and pick up the last cog. Once you have this cog, head back to the clock tower and go to the highest level and put it on the white spindle. Now all four cogs are in place, head back to Brother Kojo to finish the quest.
after you have finished speaking to him, it will come up with congratulations, you have completed the clock tower quest. You're awarded one quest point and 500 coins. So, a very easy quest, a bit long winded, you know, having to go around and get all the cogs. And the reward isn't exactly great, but it's another one off the list which you need to do if you want the quest game. I don't think at the moment this um, quest is needed for any other ones or any um, task systems, so it's just basically a nuisance, and having to get it out of the way is easy enough.